All right guys, so this is probably one of my most favorite videos that I've made yet to date because I just love this. Whenever there's a new Mac OS that comes out, they always come out with beta versions that you get to play with and see all these new awesome features. And for developers, we really need that so that we can test our software on it, right? Um, and for home users, it's just fun to play on it, right? So. I'm going to show you how to do this kind of the geeky way and probably not the Apple approved way um, unless you actually sign up for one of their programs. But that's up to you. You can do it. Uh, let me just show you what I'm talking about. So if you look at my software update right now, it says Mac OS Catalina Beta. And this is Catalina Beta 8. I can download that Catalina Beta 8. By clicking the upgrade now because this device is enrolled in the Apple developer seed program uh, the Apple developer program costs 99 bucks a year and provides a ton of valuable information uh, to Apple developers and sysadmins and anybody who's just really looking to get into development on the Apple platform uh, there is also and that's this page here so I'm logged in to my Apple developer account I can go click this install button to get a package to allow me to enroll this Mac to see that Mac OS Catalina 8 so what this package looks like if I were to click that button it would download to my Mac and it would be this Nope, it would be this one right here, and it would be this package that I would have to run. If I ran that package, it would set it up exactly the way I'm going to be setting it up in this script, right? So I'm going to make it super easy for you. So by the time you're done, you're going to have a script that you can run a one-word command on the command line to enable your Mac and enroll it into the seed program, and one word to unenroll it. Super slick, and... Uh, yeah, so the other thing is, is if you're not part of one of these programs, here's the Apple beta software program. You probably should be uh, so that you comply with whatever sorts of uh, agreement that you go through when you're getting set up for a beta program and to use this beta software. Um, let me show you how this works. It's pretty slick. So if we open up a terminal session, you can... Uh, Hold down command space bar and type in terminal and hit return it'll open up a terminal window I'm gonna hit command plus to blow it up so you guys can see this and I'm gonna move this off to the side actually I'll move it right down here so that you can see I'm gonna log in as root sudo minus I and I am going to enter password and now I'm in as root and right now I've got it set up super easy so all I have to type in is no seed and it will immediately refresh my system and take me out of the seed program and set me back to normal sometimes takes just a second all right so I hit command K to clear that screen and I'm gonna type in nano to enter into uh, editor and I'm gonna hit return and I'm just gonna do a shebang slash bin slash bash and I'm gonna declare my script and then I'm gonna paste in the code that I want and I'm gonna stretch this out so you guys can read this. All right. All right, so this first line is writing seed program two into this file right here, com apple seeding plist. So that information needs to be in that file. And then I echo out this information Actually, I got a space in front of there, so I'm going to bring that back. So I'm going to echo out this information into 
this file so I'm going to echo out all of this into this file right here and these two files have to be in place before this last line runs so it's all one line right there hopefully you can read that if not uh, you'll be able to see uh, that code in the comments uh, section so now that you have this entire script right now we can save this script I'm just gonna save it to my desktop and say yes and I want to save this thing to my desktop and I've actually already saved it to my desktop so I'm just gonna hit cancel and exit no. so now that I've saved it to my desktop let me just show you what that script looks like so I saved it as developer seed dot sh is what I named that script right there and if I hit spacebar to take a qu quick peek at it you can see it has everything that I wrote in there seed program to the echo out to the file and the enroll developer seed command so now that I've got that script actually I can come in here to the terminal if I wanted to enroll right now I could just drag that in there do an sh in front of that hit return and now that enrolls me into the program I don't want to enroll right now because I want to set up my profile so that I can do these simple no seed and seed commands so I'm going to type in no seed right now just to get rid of it and hit command K again we're gonna go and what you do is you create a bash profile so we're gonna do this we are going to do nano tilde whack profile hit return mine is already filled in with what needs to be done so you can just copy what I have here so when you do that nano and then you're gonna save that file and it'll save it as that file right uh, in that location so type in exactly what I have here except for this location needs to be where you saved your script you know it doesn't necessarily need to be on your desktop or whatever so you'll run seed and that will enroll you you'll run no seed and that will unenroll you and what is super slick about this now that you have the aliases set up you do have to log in as root I tried multiple different avenues to try to just be able to do a sudo and get it to trigger with a profile on my regular user and I couldn't get it to trigger it was uh, something kind of funky but the way it is uh, but log in as root sudo minus I type in seed and watch it load up and get me my Catalina beta so what's really cool about this now I've got an alias set up to unenroll it I've got an alias set up to enter the and enroll in the seed program and now I can go download this upgrade click upgrade now it's not going to take that long to download but you can see right here it says Apple developer seed program and while I'm downloading this um, there's a really awesome command I know that this is showing the size right here but what's kind of fun is you can use this command called nettop and just hit enter and I'm gonna do a command minus to shrink down the screen I need to be able to arrow over to the right yeah so you can see when I stretch out the window there's this bytes in if I arrow down I'm just using the arrow on the keyboard down and I arrow down all the way down to the bottom go all the way down to the bottom 
and we've got this software update D look at that and I can monitor it downloading that Catalina 8 beta isn't that awesome yeah and what's super cool is I have another video called monitoring uh, Apple's network connections on Mac OS it gets more into NetTop and, and kind of the nifty stuff you can do with NetTop. So you might want to check out that video for sure. Uh, just to see the cool tips you can do uh, with NetTop command. And there it is. Look at that. So now I've got the install macOS Catalina Beta. I'm not going to hit continue because I don't want to install this on my system. I'm just going to hit quit the install and show you that I got the file right here so what I can do is I can take that file and install that on another partition on the system install into this beta and have it to work on and it's just gonna be awesome right I can play all I want and not mess up my own system uh, I think my next week's video is actually gonna be showing how to take that Catalina beta and uh, install it onto another partition. There's a couple different ways you can do that and I think that's what I'll probably do for my next video for next week so make sure uh, you you get subscribed and get that uh, notification icon clicked uh, so that you can be notified when the vi next video comes up. Alright guys I hope you liked that video and you know Share this with your friends. Leave me some comments if you have cool ideas around this stuff. And uh, I hope you really like this because this is probably one of my favorite. All right, you guys have an awesome day. Take care.